most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Good morning, everybody. Ali reminded me it is Friday and we are happy to be at the end of the week. This is Lebanon. The Christmas tree is up. It looks very nice. What a festive sight here in downtown. Our view from the Lebanon Farmers Market early this morning. A few cars going past and uh, it is a cold morning out there to match the festive view. It depends on where you're at, though. Lidditz is chilly at 28, 31 in Camp Hill, 32 in Fawn Grove. We've got a heavy frost here at the station. And meanwhile, Elliottsburg, some places in Perry County, uh, in the 40s this morning. They are not alone either. Mifflin Town in the 40s. It just depends on where you're at. Yesterday we hit 45, pretty seasonable. The normal now 43. The record high today, 63 degrees set back uh, in uh, 1929, you can see no rain yesterday and our yearly departure continues to climb again uh, toward eight and a half inches, but we're going to wipe a lot of that away uh, by Sunday and Monday. So it is clear and quiet. Enjoy the next two days. They look pretty nice. Lots of sunshine temperatures getting into the 50s. So we're going to be climbing a big range of temperatures this morning from Allentown at 27 Harrisburg also at 27 York's at 37. We've seen some of our mountainous uh, communities in the 40s. Chambersburg is at 32. Hagerstown is at 39, so it really just depends on where you're at, whether you see some frost today or not. It's not as widespread as it has been. York, for example, 16 degrees warmer than yesterday. Meanwhile, Lebanon, Lancaster, Harrisburg, a few degrees cooler. So again, it's all location, location, location. Most of us today will get into the 50s and probably well into the 50s. I think 52, 53, 54 degrees are going to be pretty common here this afternoon, which will feel nice, especially with more sunshine on the way. I mean, we've got high pressure. Our big bubble of no trouble continues here for today and tomorrow before we start to see our next storm system move out of the plains and toward us. We are sitting under this bubble of high pressure and it is going to be nice both uh, Friday and Saturday and then the rain uh, starts to head our way by Sunday. I think even Sunday morning now could be showery and damp misty out there, so I would plan for a two day dreary fest Sunday and Monday. The heaviest rain coming Sunday night and early Monday morning. Uh, as these systems start to move toward us and pick up some moisture from the Gulf, especially the one over Texas and Oklahoma right now. So mainly sunny skies here today. Again, 53, 54 degrees. It's going to be pretty nice here this afternoon. Tomorrow there could be some thin cirrus clouds ahead of the main event on Sunday, but I think really it's tomorrow night when the clouds start to encroach on us from the east. Again, a few showers, light showers are possible Sunday morning now. Again, the timeline keeps moving up. But I do think the heaviest rain will wait until Sunday late afternoon into the evening and overnight. That's when we start to get this coastal moisture tossed our way. It will be raining heavily Monday morning and then it will zoom away by Monday afternoon, but not before leaving behind most likely one to two inches of rain. A little bit of a breeze today, more of a nuisance breeze from the west northwest at about 10 miles an hour. Now tomorrow, not all that breezy, but watch what happens tomorrow night. We start to get that easterly flow set up. That's going to mean colder air damming here on Sunday. We're going to be in the 40s. It's going to be drizzly and misty most of the day on Sunday with the heaviest rain coming in Sunday night, and then it really turns windy too. Sunday night, early Monday, and again behind this storm system for early next week. So if you're headed out shopping or you've got plans this weekend, dry and mild today, mostly sunny tomorrow, a little cooler, but still in the 50s. And then a showery day Sunday, a bit on the cooler side with that east wind at 48 degrees. So the extended outlook will again, let's take you through into early next week. So Sunday morning, misty, drizzly, the heaviest rain coming in Sunday night and early Monday. Here's 530 Monday morning. That's the heaviest of it. It should shut off by Monday afternoon. And then behind this, we get a few snow showers in here by Tuesday when the winds really start to pick up. So precision cast will take us through midnight Monday again about a half inch to an inch. We'll add another half inch to an inch to that Monday morning for one to two inch rainfall totals here, which again, not a bad thing. We still need the rain, but it is going to be breezy and if not downright windy on Monday. And then again on Tuesday behind this storm, the winds really pick up as we cool down too. So mostly sunny 53 here today tonight, 32 mostly clear here the next seven days of your life. So Sunday and Monday, not the best days, uh, especially late Sunday and early Monday. That's when the heaviest rain will be coming. One to two inches of it. It stays pretty blustery. Look at Tuesday, only 38 degrees. So more seasonable next week. But again, leading into Christmas weekend there, the, the weekend before Christmas, the weather looks quiet again. So that's the good news. Okay, just have to get through Sunday and Monday. Yeah, and we still need the rain, so we'll, we'll take it. All right, thank you, Brett. We'll be right back.